Hello everyone, welcome back to Silver Star Arcade and more Core Gang. In the last episode, we freed, um, I've already forgotten his name. But it's like, he's like a metal monkey who's also a taxi. So now we must collect bananas so that he'll take us places. Oh, that's the first time... Weba. You've got to help me. I can't leave. Cause if I do, the village will be flooded. Good thing he's big. Any ideas? Uh, a plug, for example. Okay. Exchange you with a plug. Please hurry. <laughs> My cork locator device indicates that there's a cork inside a big statue in the lake. I'm sorry, your cork locator device? Hey. What's your name again? Is it like George or something? thought you should no you should have brought the brushes okay tough guy weba yeah weba what are you up to we're jamming on some crank propaganda but some moron forgot to bring some stuff we need so we're kind of stranded here okay maybe we can help you sure i can give you a metal banana if you destroy the billboards and knock out the speakers okay okay I, okay that went by very fast <laughs> Okay, no. You. Now there are three speakers left to destroy. Hmm. It is kind of nice how they tell us, you know, they give us audio confirmation of how many things are left. But also, it feels semi-redundant because of all the stuff at the bottom. Actually, now that I look at it, it's a lot of stuff at the bottom. There are two speakers left to destroy. Why is there so much stuff at the bottom? This, what, why this is crowded now? It's cluttered. Wait, 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 wait. Oh no, that's just a light. I thought that was a thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought you were friendly. like the music in this area like the other music was I said I liked it but it was mostly just fine but this is actually you need to find two gun turrets and shoot down all the flying propaganda posters is that what I'm doing now I thought I thought there was supposed to be billboards Always check around in case there's, you know, secrets. Shoot down the propaganda billboards flying through the air. Beware of the evil birds. I mean, excuse me, the what? Oh, I can just hold it. Nice. What, did I fail? difficult because of my setup. No, 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 no. Boom. Good, now look out for the other gun turret. According to my turret altimeter, it's somewhere up high. Hmm. Well, that, see, that's actually a nice, like, audio clue. Huh. I guess this game was just a, a little rough start in you know once you get into it it gets a little better now destroy the last speaker okay wait so let's go through it so we got the speakers over here 
we got all right so for some reason it overlaps right so instead of having all four over here as one bar we got three and then one we got the two turrets and that's for this quest then you got this quest which just requires a cork then you got this okay interesting way of stacking everything although i actually prefer this as opposed to have it all covering my left view like there are some games where like your left or right side is just you know covered in pictures or text and you can't get you know you get blindsided by enemies not a fun time okay what's the point of being able to climb up here there's gotta be a reason for it Come on. Alright, what's the point? I guess there is no point. Ow. You know what this reminds me of? This music. This music is like, okay, if you've ever played Spyro Purple, right? It was like this set, kind of a crossover between... Ugh. Geez, sorry about that. Uh, kind of a crossover between Spyro and Crash Bandicoot on the GBA, right? So, it feels like if you took that music but then turned it into elevator music. You'd get this. Look for a way to get onto the statue. Oops. Actually, you know what these enemies remind me of? These enemies look like, um... Look like that, uh, that little, like, flying companion from the movie Robots with, uh, Robin Williams. To show or hide user interface. Oh, that's why you'd want to hide that. Oh. Okay, alright, so, this is a problem. Okay, seriously, like, see, this is why you need to be able to kill any- Okay, where am I? I am now in the water, and I'm dead. Okay. Okay, so what, do I gotta time it? Alright, wait for it to go up. Now hit it. Okay. There we go. Aha! Small island in the middle of the lake. Okay. Nope. I wanna grab this. There we go. Okay, well, let's see. So that will take me over there. This one take me. This one brings me here. God, I wish I had better control over the camera. See, the camera keeps wanting to fix itself because it doesn't want to 
clip through the stuff. But all that really does is make it so you can't let him move it. What's wrong? What's wrong, you? What's wrong, cat? What's wrong? You okay? What? Are you upset that the lights aren't off because it's like three in the morning? You got food and water, and I cleaned out your layer box today, I think. But regardless, you have two litter boxes, so even if I forgot to clean one today, the other one should still be good. Okay. I'm actually nervous, because I think water is, like, insta-kill for me. It is nice that they got these giant arrows, especially for idiots like me. Thank you very much. Here, please have this metal banana. Thanks. Did it really spawn me all the Okay, it did. Yeah. Wait, what disappeared? Oh, the cork thing disappeared. Okay, now I gotta run all the way back up. Yeah, so I guess I should have finished it. This game would be awkward to speed. I don't know why I keep talking about speedruns lately. Like, I don't do them. Nor do I consume them as a form of content or media. But now I just kind of think of, like, how fast can I get through this? that guy. Ah, here we go. It's kind of weird. You almost have to hit above them. Like the, uh, above the propaganda posters. Like the birds, you can just... You can just hit dead on, but the propaganda posters kind of have to, like, hit above. Alright, this one's a little trickier. Reminds me of, uh, Wii Play. Right, and, like, the various shooting games. Well, I guess just the one shooting game. Actually, this whole level and section with all the various things you can do kind of feels like Banjo-Kazooie. Quite impressive. Good work. You destroyed all the propaganda. Go back to the villagers to get your banana. Shoot down the propaganda billboards. Beware the evil birds. Where do you take me? Just kind of bring me down here, okay. Oh, this guy doesn't have a double jump. Interesting. Okay. Reticle. gonna assume and hope that I got everything in this area. I still find it really weird that you can't, that they would put, yeah, I find it really weird that the developers would put so many bird enemies in the game if you can't beat them. Unless there is a way to beat them and I either don't know it or I don't have it yet. Because, as we can tell from the boot up screen of the game and from the cover of the, ga of the game case, uh, there, is a, there is a third person. Oh, uh, Mac. Thank you very much, I'm impressed. Here's your precious metal banana. It goes by so quickly. 
it feels like they were called into the studio and it's like look it's like here's 15 bucks go you have five seconds it is kind of nice that you regain health over time though i do like that down here like does this door open or is this just here for aesthetics oh that was close I'm surprised this game looks as well as it does Considering I'm playing it on an overstretched TV through an HDMI converter. Right. Maybe I should get an older TV to play these games on. Well, I, te I technically I have an older TV on which to play these games. But I don't. It's on the other side of the room. And also, if there's like any text or reading of any kind. I don't know if I'd be able to read it oh no okay well that's gonna be a problem my camera is permanently fixated on that How unfortunate. Maybe entering a cutscene will fix it. Hey, man. Oh, wait, what? I didn't think that would end the level. this episode actually uh yeah. let's see well I, I actually I do kind of want to show off um how did I manage to do this I do kind of want to show off what the menus look like they're they're kind of like I, I like when games do this you know they kind of have like different like yeah so Oh. Oh, it also has secret. All right, so we're gonna. We do I have to play through the whole thing? I guess I do. All right, so. Uh, I was gonna say this is the end of the episode, but uh, I guess I'll quickly replay through this. See if I can find everything brothers there are humans among us dressed in the same metal clothes that can I not oh. Samuelson. oh I can skip it all right so uh, I'll let you know if I can actually find everything this time here's an interesting little thing the fish that like took us here doesn't really go away it just kind of flies over here and stays here which is uh, interesting it's well it's interesting that they don't deload it oh oh oh, oh. come 
on, work with me. Oh, what? Why did that happen? Alright, so I guess this is the, uh, Z crit. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, phew. And I guess this is also where all the, uh, rest of the, uh, things must have been. Huh. That was actually very cleverly hidden because, it, like, I mistook it for the bolts. Huh. Nicely done, game. I actually had to, like, look around for that one. Also, it kind of feels like they're trying really hard to imitate Gilbert Godfrey. I could be entirely wrong about that, though. Alright, well, I'll, uh, I'll be back when I finish this up. Alright, in case you're wondering, so when you go to the second turret, the, uh, so the second turret's up here. There's this little area where you can walk up. You can walk up the back of the mountain and find the rest of your stuff. Oh, I guess this is also an easier way to get up here rather than deal with all the uh, climbing. All right, but yeah, so I finished it off. All right, so that's gonna be it for this episode. So, thank you all so much for watching. As always, stay safe, have fun, and have a great day.